Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another beautiful, successful, wonderful day. How y'all doing? How you guys? What is it? It's Thursday right now, you know? How's everybody doing? We're almost there. We're almost at Friday. But um, we got a little story for y'all today. A crazy one. I know you guys have been seeing it all over social media. You can't avoid it. Um, it's kind of it, everybody's titling it "Hell on Wheels." It's this teenage girl, right? Her name is Mackenzie. Think you could pronounce it, Sherla? <laughs> Forever on this channel, I'll be f***ing names up. So just just be aware of that much, right? But anyway, her name is like Mackenzie Sherla, or Shrilla. And she crashed the car going over 100 miles an hour, intentionally killing her boyfriend and her boyfriend's friend. So you already know there's some crazy shit that was happening inside of that car. But anyways, we're going to have, it's pretty much the highlights. I can't wait till they were, they drop like, you know, interrogation, court cam, like full court cam so I could go through it. But for now, we got the highlights of what really happened to her. Um, check this shit out. One day you can see it, I would never let this happen or do it. I hope one day you can see it, I would never let this happen or do it on purpose. I wish I could remember what happened. I'm just so sorry, I'm heartbroken. I, I wish I could remember what happened. I'm just so sorry, I'm heartbroken. Man, there's a theme, right? There's a recurring theme with, with, with what, 18-year-old, 16-year-old, 17-year-old girls? They, they, they try to do this, I forgot, or, or I blacked out defense it's really pathetic but anyway here's another one saying that she can't remember <laughs> i hope one day you can see it. i would never let this happen or do it on purpose i wish i could remember what happened i'm just so sorry i'm hard look at bailiff on the left he's reading that he's reading the shit out of that note the guy in the black he's reading it <laughs> you can see his lips moving <laughs> my boy is invested i love down in Davia. Mackenzie Sharilla begs for mercy and forgiveness after she's convicted of murdering her boyfriend and their friend by plowing her car into a building. Damn. We have the entire story of the deaths of Dominic Russo and Davian Flanagan. And how does she look perfect, bro? She looks absolutely unharmed and they died. You know what I mean? Answer that question for me. Like, yo, she looks absolutely fine. And the sentencing of Mackenzie Sharilla. Don and Davion were robbed of their futures, their hopes, and their dreams. Oh, she smoked cigarettes. Oh, she smoked big ciggies. You hear her voice? That is 20 plus years of cigarettes. Tell me I'm wrong. The harsh Back that shit up. Flanagan and the sentencing of Mackenzie Sharilla. Don and Davion were robbed of their futures, their hopes. And, and the harsh words Ziggy. from the judge for the now convicted murderer. There's only one person who's responsible for the pain of everyone in this room, and that person is you, Mackenzie. Mackenzie Sharilla is 19 years old, and it's very possible she could spend the rest of her life in prison. Most young women her age are thinking about college or getting a job, but the judge in her criminal case said her choices in July of last year have led instead to her being labeled a convicted felon. It was July 31st, 2022, when prosecutors say Mackenzie Sharilla put her foot on the gas in her car and plowed it into a building intentionally. She was driving 100 miles per hour. The what do you think that was? Clearly, she was pissed off. But like, like, you know, what I mean, it's her, her boyfriend and his friend. So maybe they're fucking with her. I don't know. Maybe they're at, they're propositioning her something she doesn't want to do. But I don't know. Like. They seem like some some regular dudes, you know, and she seemed like the regular girl. And all of a sudden she just drives into the wall. Now, it would be a completely different story if they were drunk and she accidentally killed them. It would be more like manslaughter. But I think they're trying to get her for like intentional murder. So I don't know what the issue was when the when the court really opens up and they really give us the files and stuff. I, I'm curious to see if it was over like an issue, like somebody cheating, maybe or impact killed her boyfriend dominic russo and his friend davian flanagan surveillance video captured shirilla's car speeding down the road in strongsville ohio a suburb of cleveland shirilla opted for a bench trial in cuyahoga county in front of judge nancy margaret russo who has a reputation as being a very tough judge 
Judge Russo found Sharilla guilty of two counts of murder and called Sharilla hell on wheels. You know it's bad when your lawyer is putting his hand in his face. Like, the lawyer's like, fuck. And what? <laughs> that is so messed up. But my thing is, like, why would you do that? There's got to be something something that was going down. But sadly, those two dudes are dead. So there's no side of the story that they can tell. It's just her smashing the car into the side of the road. Like, I hope that they give her a chance to, like, kind of say what was going on in her defense. I'm sure that'll come out, but I'm just curious to know what was the issue. Like, what makes you... And then you're suicidal also, too. Like, what makes you push this car to 100 miles per hour and crash it with yourself still in the car? That just says you're kind of you're kind of wonky yourself, like... Davy and Flanagan's mother, Jamie, addressed the court. She said her son did not have a clique of friends, and instead he was a friend to all. She said he dreamed of opening a barber shop of his own, and she also described how she adopted Davian and his sisters. My son Davion is and always will be so much more than part of. He was precious. He was an amazing soul with a heart of gold. Davion and my kids have had more than their fair share of heartbreak, of hardship, and of loss. Davion was adopted with his sisters from foster care. They're biological siblings. We are honored to be chosen, or to have been chosen, to be the parents. They're forever family. I am devastated by the loss of Davion. The world lost a truly special man. My girls lost their best friend, their protector, the one and only trusted family that has been by their side from day one yeah no nah, but that, that must suck that must suck for real because like he did seem like a player i could see he was on some shit like he was doing something but nothing to get plowed into a wall for you know he was probably on some he was probably gonna tell his friend something like you know he was probably messing with her and then like he was gonna tell his friend in front of her to like make problems and then she crashes the car with everybody in it i could see some stupid shit like that causing this issue this alone, or he alone, understands the pain and loss that they have gone through and was always there for them. Davion Flanagan's sister then spoke to the court. I don't want this pain for anyone else. I don't want people to have to go through this. As an 18 year old, I hate the fact that he is gone because someone decided to take his life. Now that Davion is gone, I feel stuck. I feel as if I can't move forward. I feel lost. I was the, he was the one who picked me up when I fell. He was my best friend and the only person that has stayed with me since I was born. I, I, would, I would like you to give McKenzie the longest possible sentence. Oh, shit. <laughs> Please give McKenzie the longest possible sentence without any emotion. That shit is crazy. Nah, she's going to get a long ass sentence. I'll tell you that much. Like, damn. No emotion in that speech. That has stayed with me since I was born. I, I, would, I would like you to give McKenzie the longest possible sentence. I've known her for about three years, and actually, she's always taken the easy way out. Christine Russo is Dominic Russo's mother. She also addressed the judge. No one wanted this to be a murder. Or to punish Mackenzie and Shirella for this accident. This was not a car accident. The evidence and science proved that Mackenzie Shirella murdered my son, Dominic, as well as Davion. There's no fix put in in this case, as the Shirellas would like to reclaim. I want to thank the Strasville Police Department and the state of Ohio for seeking the truth behind this crash. Thanks to them, we all know what happened in that car that day. What we don't know is why. Exactly. That's what we want to know right now is why she sped the car 100 miles an hour with herself in it, with herself included, into a wall. The only thing I could think of is like, you know, he was finna drop a bombshell and she didn't like that. So she killed everybody. And then she, you know, obviously survived. But, hmm. Change this every day. I lost three children in that crash. A minute goes by each day that I don't think about myself. It's while stadium. My house forever broken. 
Then Christine Russo told Judge Russo, no relation there, what Mackenzie's mother said to her following the crash. July 31st, 2022, I called Mackenzie's mother hysterical with the loss of my son and baby Anna. I knew Mackenzie was in the hospital. And the first statement said to me was, oh, please don't listen to what everyone's saying on Facebook. Please don't listen to what everyone's saying on Facebook. Man, she's calling you about her son dying, and you're talking about what people are saying. You, are, you already know. Something's fishy. Immediately. Yeah. My son is dead. His friend is dead. I'm checking on yours. Social media is what's important. Yeah. Social media is made a game. It's part of the life of Mackenzie, and it's making a game tragedy. It's kind of hard to imagine someone being concerned about what's on social media when two kids have been killed and her daughter was seriously injured. Angelo Russo was Dominic's older brother. No, I'm telling you, these kids, uh, not these kids, these parents out here are a different breed. Remember Alexi Treviso's mom when the baby died? She was just like, oh yeah, so what about Alexi? Uh-huh, but what about my daughter? But can she come home? Like, yeah, these parents out here are wild, bro. The more cameras we get, the more we're going to see shit like that. It's just going to become the norm because these people exist. We just never saw them. Now we're seeing them everywhere. And he also spoke. Nothing said or done here today can describe the loss or repair our lives after this tragedy. Kenzie's statement in the hospital to Detective Azu. Can't you just take my license away for 10 years or something? Wow. That statement is Mackenzie's. That statement is Mackenzie Cirillo. The most selfish person I know. Ironically, Don is the most selfish person I know. Mackenzie Cirillo murdered Don and Davion in cold blood and had already moved on. Mackenzie killed. Can you just take my license for 10 years or something? <laughs> Yo, that shit is cold. I would have looked at her as an officer like, damn, lady, you cold. You a cold one. You'll you'll do okay in jail. You'll do all right. <laughs> you'll do good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, over the thought of losing him, and she made Davey on collateral damage. She was driving, going to concerts, and dressing up for Halloween. No thoughts of the families and lives that she had destroyed prosecutor showed messages that he says Mackenzie Sharilla sent to a modeling agency in Los Angeles while she was still in the hospital recovering from the crash. Shortly after the crash, Strongsville police were notified that they had uh, received concerning emails from the community that the defendant and her mother were seeking employment with the Los Angeles uh, modeling agency. Kenzie Sharilla said, to Vitaly, thank you for the comment. I would love to work with you guys. I've been emailing you guys a lot. Such a great opportunity, thank you. Is there a date? There is not a date on this, Your Honor. Based on the investigation, um, it was delivered to the police while uh, the defendant was still in the uh, Metro Health Hospital. He also showed a photo of her at a concert while in a wheelchair and played some of her posts from social media for the court. I'm not even cool. I'm just one of those girls that can do a lot of drugs and not die. And then the prosecutor showed videos from TikTok from Halloween of last year, right before Sharilla's arrest. All of this was, of course, to show that Mackenzie Sharilla was more concerned with having a modeling career and having fun than the passing of her boyfriend. Oh, man, she was living her best life. What are you talking about? Dead dead people that I killed? What, what are you talking about? We're at the concert doing Molly, bro. What the fuck you mean? Like, shit, it's Halloween time. Let's dress up. The fuck you mean? I'm going to L.A. and I'm going to be a model. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> That's the type of time she was on. She was on complete demon time. Like, she got rid of them, too, and moved on. She must have thought... You know what? You know, what I think she thought it was going to be um, like involuntary manslaughter. You know what I mean? Like, oh, OK, she made a mistake. Let's send her to jail for a year. Let's take away her license for a decade. You know, she can't really drive. Like, she's just a child. Nah, these courts out here are not playing lately, especially with these young ones out here. 18, 16, 17. They're they're trying to put you behind for a good 20, 30. This one might be life. 
It should be life. She killed two people. So, I mean, I hope she gets life. And his friend. Mackenzie's mother knows that it's very possible her daughter will go to prison for the rest of her natural life. But the judge has a decision to make. She can make these sentences run consecutively, meaning that they run one after the other, <laughs> or concurrently, meaning that they run at the same time. If she does consecutively, this girl is super extra fucked with a little sprinkle on top, like seriously, because she's going to be back there for like 100 years, I would assume, if she makes them run consecutively. And then that would make Mackenzie eligible for parole after serving 15 years. So Mackenzie's oh, wait, hold on, mother hold on. eligible Let's back this up. Let's back this up. run consecutively. But the judge has a decision to make. She can make these sentences run consecutively, meaning that they run one after the other, or concurrently, meaning that they run at the same time, and then that would make Mackenzie eligible for parole after serving 15 years. Okay. So Mackenzie's mother begged the judge for some type of mercy for her daughter. All right, anal analysis, people. I just want to Analysis, what type of mom is this? This is Mackenzie's mom. All right, I'm going to tell you my first, you know, first impressions are everything. The second I see her, I see one of those hippie moms that just lets them, their kids do anything they want to do because they're finding themselves. All right? I haven't seen anything she ha she's had to say. Just the little, the little hair clip and the loose dress and the, just the, the way about her. That, that's my assumption. Now let's find out. <laughs> say to the families that I'm broken, sad, and lost, and my heart hurts for everyone, okay? Stadium was a new friend, and Don was the love of her life, and he was part of our family, okay? I'm just so sorry that this happened and your heart broken. Okay, I just want to get that over with, okay? You guys hear that? All right, good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you... Oh, wow. This is not the approach I expected. That was kind of aggressive. Okay, and then, Your Honor, this was a terrible tragic nightmare accident to have happened that she has no memory of and she oh. will never emotionally or physically recover of it recover from it um she almost died too and we're asking that you please not run the sentence as consecutive it was family and we all love each other that morning of the accident she called i got a phone call that she her mom kind of seems like a nut job or an alcoholic do you see all right i'm not even saying this to be mean but you see the hand gestures the, the the hand gestures now i'm not no psychologist expert but i work in the kitchen right <clears throat> let me just tell you that much i work in the kitchen and i know the traits of an alcoholic i definitely know the traits of an alcoholic she's giving me alcoholic vibes those hands and the looking up and the um okay all right um okay it, it, she seems alcoholic to me that's what i'm just gonna say that much back it up a little bit look at her hand please not run the sentences consecutive it was family and we all love each other that morning of the accident, she called. I got a phone call that she, there was a car accident. Look at the hands. So we went to the hospital, and I didn't even know who was in the car. The names had not been confirmed yet. And I was like, I'm crying. We missed him so much. We loved him so much. I called down. So she tries to cry, doesn't get a tear out, and then continues. This is, <clears throat> this is bad, guys. This is really bad. I'll be like, Mom, if you don't get your drunk ass and sit down, you're making things worse. Like over and over again, praying that he was going to answer the phone, and he didn't answer the phone. We loved him so much, and I hung up the phone. I did not talk about social media. I didn't even know what was going on yet. Then it was Mackenzie Shirilla's turn to address the court. Her statement was fairly brief. The families. Oh God, and I'm so deeply sorry. I hope one day you can see I would never let this happen or do it on purpose. I wish I could remember what happened. I'm just so sorry. I'm heartbroken. I love Dom and Davion. We were all friends, and Dom was my soulmate. I wish I could take all your pain away, and I'm so sorry. And to my family, thank you for the support and all the love you guys give. Thank you for fighting with me. I love you all so much. Judge Russo then sentenced Mackenzie Sharilla and explained why she was giving the sentence that she was. Oh, God. Is this going to be like some horrible sentence? Like for a hundred years or some shit. I'm, I'm feeling the hundred years, man. I don't know. Today is the sentencing of the defendant for the purposeful and intentional murders of Davion Flanagan and Dominic Rousseau. And in a way, it's the second time their families are gathered again to grieve. 
It's also a day when Mackenzie's family will grieve for the future of their daughter. So damn. All three of these families and the friends of these families are suffering. And all of their lives have been irrevocably changed because of the actions of the defendant. The unintended and collateral consequences of a selfish, intentional, and cruel decision by Mackenzie will ripple forever in time. It's literally changed history because it's ended two lives. Two young men are dead. Their deaths were horrible, terrifying, and tragic. I will say again, if any reasonable person reviews Exhibit 802, there can be no doubt in your mind what happened this night. All right, we need to see Exhibit 802, people. We're going to come back with this case if you all are interested. This shit, it looks pretty crazy. But I just want to know why she did it. And I know they're going to have like some exclusive interview later on talking to her like five years later or some shit. So we're looking out for that. But um, we want to know why she did it, man. That's crazy. That even if Mackenzie intended... With herself inside the car. So there's a chance you're dying too. You know what I mean? Like... ...to also die in this crash that is irrelevant. A failed suicide attempt is not a defense to murder. And even in a murder suicide attempt, when the perpetrator executing the plan survives, the other death or deaths are still murder. There's a very good likelihood, Mackenzie, that you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Damn. That won't be up to me. That will be up to the parole board. And that will be up to you to a great extent. I understand that the pain in this room wants me to impose the harshest sentence. Please do. But I don't believe that would be the appropriate sentence because I do believe that Mackenzie will not be out in 15 years. So she's sentenced on count two, the murder of Davion Flanagan. 15 years to life. She's sentenced on count one, the murder of Dominic Russo, 15 years to life, to Ooh. be served concurrent to each other with credit for time served. Sharilla will be sent to the Ohio Department of Corrections and likely placed in the women's prison at Marysville. She'll go before the parole board after serving 15 years since Judge Russo opted to sentence her to those concurrent sentences. That's Damn, it so she doesn't even have a chance to go before 15 years. She has to wait a mandatory of 15 years. And if she's a bitch or if she's this and that, then she'll get denied for parole also. Man. Hey, guys, don't don't drive your cars into walls just because you have arguments with people, okay? Anyways, people, that was, uh, yeah, that was Miss Sharilla <laughs> fucking her life up. But anyways, people. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Until the next one, stay inside and stay safe as usual. If you have any kids messing around doing crazy shit, go talk to them. We don't want them we don't want them doing shit like this. Anyways, y'all, I'm out.